One surefire way of making your travel or vacation videos stand out is with Tracked 3D Text. Hey guys, I'm Dylan John Dickerson, and let's run through how to easily create this shot using one of our most popular plugins, MTracker 3D. Once purchased and downloaded via M Installer, you can find MTracker 3D in your effects browser. Just double click to apply. We'll head into the inspector window and we can either hit track here or on the viewport. Once that's done tracking, you'll hit copy track and head into your titles to find the 3D title that you'd like to track to your shot. We're gonna go with the title from our MTracker 3D expansion pack, title number three, which will help our title to blend in with this bushy cliff in the background. Let's hit paste track to paste the tracking metadata to this title. And we'll turn off animation in and out so our text stays up on the screen the whole shot. Now we'll hit this little icon that looks like crosshairs and this is gonna allow us to place our text in this tracked 3D space. Let's first write what we want the text to say. And then let's crank up the size of this thing to make it huge. Then we'll adjust the angle of our title by using the rotation parameters. For the next step, let's adjust the lighting. The first thing we'll do is go to the lighting style and realistically we'd want to go with diagonal left since that's where the sun would be positioned. But because we want the text to stand out a little more, let's go with diagonal right so it's lit up a little more on this front side. Let's tweak some things here. I'll adjust the lighting intensity. Let's increase the shadow softness. We'll decrease the title environment intensity and I'll rotate the environment rotation a bit. Now we'll adjust how that diagonal right lighting is positioned on our text. Let's rotate the light. And we'll try and match the shadows on these trees down here as best as possible. The light angle here will simulate the sun being higher or lower in the sky. Once again, let's try and match the distance of the shadows from the trees, but these letters are really tall, so we'll extend a bit more. Let's increase the ambient light intensity. And let's make the shadows darker by adjusting the opacity. We should try and find a shadow color that would match the shadows of these trees more. Let's increase the opacity even more and we'll add some softness to the shadows. We'll toggle on light wrap so we can make the text look like how it would actually look if this sunlight was bouncing off of it. Because this background has a bit of noise in it, we'll try and match that with our text as well. So let's toggle on some noise and we'll lower the amount as well as make the noise only black and white. Adding some Gaussian blur will help the text to blend in even more by making it look not so sharp and digital. In these final steps, we'll turn on colorization and adjusting these values is how we're gonna make the title really look like it's here by this beach. I'll double click this shadows panel and I'll focus on this background. What color are the shadows on this cliff? That looks like a good color. Next, let's adjust our midtones. And lastly, our highlights. I'm gonna go a bit warmer on the highlights to help add a bit of contrast and to help emulate the sunlight and sand. If at the end of adjusting these, you wanna to tone it down a bit, you can adjust the colorization mix easily. I'll leave this at 100 though. And for the final tweaks, you can adjust the hue, saturation, and brightness of your entire title from here, just to help you fine tune your track text even more. I'm gonna only adjust our saturation a bit though. And there you have it, tracked 3D text to help your vacation or travel videos stand out from the crowd. If you enjoyed this tutorial, let us know that you did in the comments and make sure to hit the like button as well. Have a great rest of your day, guys.